Hello, I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Bad Poetry. Now, this episode is not really bad poetry. It's kind of awesome poetry. It's actually my favorite poem in the English language. But, since I'm doing this series, uh, for my students at the university, for their edification, entertainment, and absolutely ear-splitting punishment, I'd like to include this piece, because it is one of my favorites. Uh, this is Jabberwocky by Charles Dodson, writing as Lewis Carroll, from Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There, uh, written or uh, published in 1872. And it's all in how you read it, and how you listen, and what substances you might have enjoyed, or imbibed, or inhaled, while or prior to reading. Enjoy. Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Twas brillig and my slithy tools did gar and gimble in the web. Our nymphs here were the border goals of the Molmoraths out of Grebe. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the manxum foe he sought. So rested he by tum tum tree, and stood a while in thought. And as in oofish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood, and burbled as it came, one, two, one, two, and through and through. The vorpal blade went snicker, snack. He left it dead, and with its head he came galumphin back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arm, a beamish boy. Oh, frog, just day, kalukale, he chortled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slithy tools did gar and gimble in the web. All the mimsy were the borgos, and the monraths out of the Thank you.